Well, local mentor Jared Orchard will make the short trip from the Menangle Training Centre down to Club Menangle on Saturday night with a truckload of exciting talent. Of course, he's Philly Madrid, the star attraction, and she will go around to the New South Wales Oaks. Jared joins me now to run an eye over all his chances. Well, Jared, you join me on a winning note off your cap first up from New Zealand. Very impressive, the trotter. Yeah, um, we've liked him ever since he came over and it was good just to get him to the races and show everyone what we think of him at home. You must be excited about Saturday night. <clears throat> yeah, we've got a good team of horses. It's um, good when the carnival rolls around and um, it's exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. But, um, yeah, it's good to have a good team of horses in Saturday night. Let's head straight to the feature, the New South Wales Oaks, race seven on the card, nicely drawn in gay four, Madrid, the daughter of Bling It On. Yeah, she come through the heat in like perfect style, got a good draw and um, I think she'll be hard to beat. Most impressive record, nine starts, seven wins, two placings. Home in 28-1 on Saturday night, Jared Cam Hart was very kind. Yeah, she, she sort of really needed that run. We, it was a few weeks between runs there and um, I think she'll improve immensely off that run and um, she pulled up super the next day. Just she was on the water walker and bucking her brand off. So, um, yeah, it was good to see a straw inside of more Vita So, because I think they're the two clear top picks. So, um, we're one up in that stakes and let's just hope we can um, go one better on Saturday night. Will be a case of holding the lead from gate four? Yeah, I'd imagine so. I'll leave that up to Cam. But yeah, I think she races good in front and um, I don't think you want to give up your advantage of a good barrier draw. So yeah, we'll, we'll hold the front. Three interesting chances in the first, uh, Jaron Aquasanta, just a little bit, and delightful dude coming out of the Chariots of Fire, finishing sixth. Certainly wasn't disgraced. No, he wasn't. He probably just had to change his course at the top of the straight and probably unlock, unlucky not to run fourth there. So um, he just pulled up so good, which I thought he may have been a little jaded after that quick mile. I think he went 148.6 himself. So um, he pulled up terrific. So yeah, we, we'll send him, send him around and I think he'll run really good. That uh, is race two on the card. It's the Ladies' Invitational. Steph Flippiard drives Aquasancta. Sophie Arvidsson just a little bit. And Isabel Ross has got that prize drive on. Delightful dude. So three outstanding ladies in what is an outstanding field of lady drivers. Yeah, no, it's a great field of drivers. And um, just hopefully one of them can win. But they're, they're all going good. Aquasancta, he's, um, his last few starts, he's gone to another level. And just a little bit, he's a model of consistency. You know, he's um, won the Canberra Cup there a couple of weeks ago. And... Um, went really good in the wet last week at, um, at Penrith. So they're all good chances. They just, whoever gets the most amount of luck, I'd say. Joe, the last three races of the heats for the New South Wales Derby, and it's my ultimate something going around for your particular stable. In race eight, number three, my ultimate Chevron, a new starter for your stable from New Zealand. Yeah, I haven't had him long. He's only been here a week. Um, he is a nice little horse over there. He's run some good races in good company. So don't know much about him, but I've hobbled him a couple of times and he seems good, seems healthy, seems fairly fit. So, um, yeah, he gets a good draw there. He, he'll be right thereabouts. I'd suggest he should should be going close. Also, my ultimate, Billy, drawn out wider, but he's a competitor. Yeah, he's a fighter. Um, he probably doesn't have the brilliance of a couple of the others, but his run at um, Newcastle last week was terrific. 54 first up and um, just a real tough horse, you know, probably lacks a bit of brilliance, but I think if they go hard in that, they'll know he's there. Race nine, number three, my ultimate Levi, and also out wider, my ultimate Byron. I'm very keen to get your thoughts on my ultimate Byron's two runs back. Um, really happy with his first run back um, without a trial. They went 50 and um, probably race fitness got him um, there. His next start probably looked disappointing on face value, but he probably just got beaten for speed a bit there. He Everyone thought he didn't run out the trip, but I necessarily don't agree with that because if you watch the replay carefully after the line, he kept going the same speed and kicked back through. And like he went for another 400 metres after the race, Kim was flat out pulling him up. So I don't necessarily agree with he didn't run out the distance. I just think that he's a, a horse that loves to run. And we, and it wasn't Kim's fault by any means, it was more our fault. We wanted him looked after the other day, and probably Kim just looked after him a bit too much instead of driving him more aggressive. So he'll get driven a lot more aggressive Saturday night. Sounds like there's an air of confidence about his prospects. I think you'll see a different horse Saturday night, yeah. I, I think he track works super this morning, so um, I'd be disappointed if he doesn't run a, a really good race. And my ultimate, Levi? Um, yeah, he's a group one winner two starts back, but his first run was disappointing. He, he probably got driven how we wanted him to be driven, but probably not how he needs to be driven. 
Um, he had to sit outside the leader that night and he probably faded. Um, but last week he got knocked over um, at the start and lost a lot of ground, but his sectionals were terrific after that. So he'll get driven very cold. Um, and I just hope he sees uh, improved performance there, but I, th I think he will go better. The final heat, my ultimate backer, another very talented performer. Yeah, he. I was disappointed in his last start. I thought he should have gone better. I thought he was entitled to win, um, but I, that was trainer error. I'll put that down to my own fault. I, I, he cops a lot of work, that little horse, and after he won the Simpson sprint, I backed off him a bit with the um, derby in mind. Um, probably backed off him a little bit too much, and he, but he blew up that big over the back, so... Um, we've stuck the work into him this week and I, I think he'll be a lot sharper Saturday night. Which one do you think is the best of them? Uh, I think my Ottoman Byron's probably the ability's the best. He's not the best mentored horse. So um, my Ottoman Baxter's a favourite. Like, I love that little horse. Um, and I don't really know about the other horse, my Ottoman Chevron. Um, he's come with sort of bigger wraps on him, but... Um, I guess we'll know on Saturday. Uh, his work's been really good since he's been here, but I'm just excited to get him to the races and see what he can do. Yeah, we've got my five my ultimates going around on Saturday night. How many with that tag do you have in the stable? Oh, um, Scott and Jody have a lot, a lot of horses, so I don't know exactly how many, but there's a lot there, that's for sure, counting his babies and, um, <clears throat> and two-year-olds coming through and... Yeah, no, it's um, it's wonderful. Like Scott and Jody are terrific supporters of Melt Mine, and um, they're so easy to deal with. And um, I'm just glad I've got them. You've certainly got a big number as far as the runners are concerned across the board these days. Yeah, we're sort of trying to look for more quality. Um, Scott's sort of buying really well at the moment, and um, it makes my job a lot easier when we've got a lot more um, quality there instead of quantity. But um, yeah, you know, you still. still you, you know, you still got to um, turn up and work them, and um, it's a big job. With those big numbers, you're also now needing more staff. Yeah, we are. We're on the lookout for um, another staff member. So, yeah, if anyone knows of anyone about, we're, we're about to advertise on social media in the next day or so. So, um, yeah, we don't, we don't run a big operation, but um, we've got some nice horses and sort of friendly work conditions. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we're about to advertise for someone, so yeah, probably probably suit a young fella, you know, that's keen to work and we will get a few junior drives along the way. Yeah, it's also a very good opportunity for, as you said, a young boy or girl to join the stable. With a love of horses, it can be very rewarding. Yeah, that's right, exactly. And, um, you know, Harness Racing's uh, offering up some good traineeships and that at the moment too, so I'm um, trying to get more young people into the game, so there's that go on too but um, yeah you know like we've got a nice team of horses there at the moment so there'd be some nice junior drives in in the coming weeks I'd suggest. Joe thanks very much for your time thanks for going over all your runners with such an in-depth view on all those particular performers good luck on Saturday night. No worries thanks a lot.